aside from blog posts, you may wish to showcase separately the products you have available on your online shop. Let's take a quick look on how to do this. I have two types of products, dresses and furniture, on my website. These are made in two different online shop pages on my website. Let's create a new page with a clean design and again on the new lightness uh, microweber template. Going into live edit where we will have no modules added on the page. So let's once again navigate to the top, clicking here, prompting up the modules bar and looking for this products module. Let's drag and drop it onto the screen. And here we have um, all the products available on our website, on our online shop. Three dresses and three tables. Clicking on the small button with products will prompt up the settings menu. We have three different sections. Uh, I can uh, rearrange using this slider right here the products as I wish. And here are the important settings. So I'm currently showing all my products from all my pages. By clicking on dresses, I will show only the dresses from the dresses page. Same applies for the tables from furniture. So let's revert back to showcasing all my content. Uh, as you see, there are some custom fields. By default, most of them are included, but you can customize it in any way you wish. So, uh, I will leave the thumbnail, the title, perhaps I will customize the read more link into a learn more one. Um, I may wish to add uh, the price, of course, and the add to cart button in order for my customers to be eased up. We have uh, different types of ordering our products by position, date, or title and ascending or descending. So as you see, I can play around with these custom fields. Regarding the skins and templates, there are um, different skins and templates depending uh, on your preferences and your view of how your blog should look like. So this is the masonry one. Um, I like the sidebar option. And uh, you can see that we have some different custom fields we can leave out. For example, uh, only with the date will be uh, pretty much senseless. So uh, let's customize it a bit. I will leave a thumbnail, a title, perhaps a price and only a card button. So it's much more simple. Customers uh, will see all the main fields that I want them to see. So. All in all, this was the tutorial. Play around with uh, all the different custom fields and um, skins and layouts. I hope that you had fun. Don't forget to subscribe to us, like us on Facebook or follow us on Twitter.